but yeah, the dating scene here is very complicated. I imagine you get quite a lot of DMs at this point in time. So how to. how would you, when you're scrolling through them all, how would you decide, okay, this is someone who I'm interested in? Typically, it depends what I'm searching for, but typically the type of girl who's going to slide into your DMs isn't the type of girl who you're going to end up mm. marrying. I don't think, and this might get me in some trouble, that women of good character will DM a guy out of nowhere. If a girl is, you know, they'll play little tricks, they'll follow you, like three of your pictures in a row, hope that you see them on the, on the feed. But to actually physically inbox you, hey, are you in Dubai? I'd like to hang out. That's not the type of girl who, you know, you're going to end up in a long-term relationship with. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Mm. Because who says you're looking for a long-term relationship? You don't always say, you know, and different men out here are looking for different things. If you're in Dubai and you've got money, status, you've got a big Instagram, you're tagging yourself around the city and you're just here to have fun, the girls who slide into your DMs, good. Go go have your fun. But yeah, just don't put any babies in them. Yeah, I think one thing that I'm always concerned about is if someone is sliding in my DM, then how many of the guys' DMs has she slid in? Yeah. I mean, you slide into girls' DMs. How many per, yeah. how many per day? How many per week? <laughs> Look, obviously, I've never inboxed anyone. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, maybe once, maybe once. And I think one thing that I want to discuss is in Dubai, there's obviously there's a lot of beautiful women, lots yeah. of different nationalities. And quite a lot of them are doing some shady stuff. Of course, yeah. And I think some guys are aware of it, but a lot of guys, particularly me when I first moved here, I I couldn't believe it, like how many of the girls were doing the scale of it. these sort of side missions yeah. that were side bringing in like a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. And I think I nearly fell into a few traps sometimes because when I came here, I was not necessarily looking to be in a relationship, but I was trying to find a good girl that I could hang out with, spend time with. And a few times I had to find out the hard way that they were actually, you know, uh, an escort. Hustlers, yeah. Because a lot of them, they won't admit it straight away that that's what they do. Yeah, but you need to have an eye for it. And now that, and when you first moved here, you were not the man you are today. No. And, and I, three years ago, I was not the man that I am today. Uh, it's just a natural progression of being a man. But you learn, now that you have some more money and some more status, uh, you learn how to spot the signs. For me, I, it's incredibly easy. But again, I have money. For a lot of young guys, they'll see girls in Dubai at a dinner table with four of their girlfriends and, you know, oh, having fun in Dubai or whatever. They'll see them standing on some little boat. They'll see them at this beach, at this club, and they don't think anything of it. I follow the money. I, I add up the numbers. Girls who live luxurious lives in Dubai may well have a boyfriend or a husband. That's fine. Who's got money? But they shouldn't be messaging you if they are. Mm -hmm. If a girl's messaging you, hey, I'm single. You're like, okay, cool, you're single. And then I'll say, you know, what are you doing tonight? And they'll say, oh, I'm out for dinner. And then I see on their Instagram, it's um, her at Gal. And I could see the table, the physical table. And there's a steak, a lobster thermidor, and 500 grams of caviar on the table with a bottle of Dom Perignon. I'm like, okay, this girl told me that she's a makeup artist. That's $4,000. Yeah. That's how much that costs because I know, because I spend the same money and I go to the same places. Oh, I'm just at, I'm just at the club with my friends. Say la vie, 10 bottles of Dom Perignon. Okay, that's nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 right there. Who's paying for that if she's single? So I think following the money is the best, <laughs> is the best advice I can give to people, you know, look at their Instagram and look how expensive the things that they're doing are. 